Welcome to my Wix for affiliate marketing tutorial. Here I'm going to be showing you how to create a Wix landing page for affiliate marketing and it's pretty simple to do so you can follow along with me and let's get started right now. So first and foremost what you want to do is go to all sites and from there you can just simply go to all sites here which is where I am or just simply click on create new site whether it's going to be here or there. Let's click on that now. And Wix is going to bring up the AI assistant, which we don't need here. It's much easier to just get up and running starting from scratch. So let's click on setup without chat. From here, we also don't need to do this. Once again, let's look at the bottom right here of our screen and click on skip. All right, so this is one thing that we can add, which is going to be our, our name. Given the fact this is going to be for affiliate marketing, if we're going to be promoting a specific offer, you can just call this the name of that. For this example, I'm going to be using Create Studio as an example. So I'm going to do that and click on continue. And from this, not a really big deal because we're going to be customizing it ourselves. So I'm going to click on skip. And once again, I'm going to click on skip as well. You're going to see why I'm doing skip on all these in a moment. Okay, we're all set. Let's continue to the dashboard. So now that we are at the dashboard, what we want to do is look at the top right and click on design site. And there's two options, or at least there's three. We can do generate with AI, customize a template, or continue with setup for now. We're going to be going with customizing a template, so let's click on pick a template. All right, and very simply here, we're going with blank templates here. And the reason for this is because we don't need pretty much any of like the header, the footer, the menus, all of these pictures or anything. We're gonna be creating a landing page for affiliate marketing, so we want it as simple as possible. Remember, when creating a landing page, you wanna focus on one goal. And if it's for affiliate marketing, ideally, it's probably going to be for getting that conversion. So let's have it as bare as possible, and I'll show you how to add these simple aspects to your landing page to make it most effective. So for this, we're gonna be starting from scratch. Anytime you wanna pick a template, you can always like view it to see what it's gonna look like, but it's pretty plain Jane. So I'm just gonna click on edit, and we'll go from there. All right, perfect. So you'll notice there are going to be a header and footer sections, but we don't really need to add much to this. What we're going to be doing, just so I can explain it to you very quickly, we're going to have our headline up at top, a little bit of text under it. We're going to have a video, and then we're going to have a call to action with a button. That's the only things on there, and maybe some like contact links at the bottom in case someone wants to reach out and ask you questions. So when we're getting started, let's click on Add Elements. From here, we have text, so let's go ahead and add our heading one. So we're gonna drag and drop it in here. We also have the top here. I'm just gonna make it much smaller, about as small as can be, because we're not gonna be putting anything in there. So this is gonna be the headline, and this is gonna be something that needs to captivate the audience. So whatever affiliate program, or excuse me, affiliate offer you're gonna be promoting, you wanna make sure that it's something that's either a good hook that's gonna allow them to maybe watch a video or click on the button and read more. For this one, I'm going to do all right, so how to create pro Pixar videos. What I also wanna do is just drag it all the way to the left so it's at the dotted line. I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side here. Then what I can do is just simply go in this section and align it so it's in the middle. And I'd say it looks pretty good. It's big, but it's supposed to be because it's a headline and I'm gonna put it about right at the top there. We can move it up a little bit more. I think that will be fine. Like I said, we're not gonna be actually using the header for anything. And underneath it, we wanna add a little bit more text. So we're gonna to go to add elements, we're on text here. And I'm gonna go with this one. I'm a paragraph, click here to add your own text. It's easy and so on and so forth. Once again, I'm just gonna kind of center it so it's all the way on the left and all the way on the right. So when I move it specifically, it's gonna be lined up perfectly. So I can double click here. And what we wanna do is just give kind of a call to action. You know, click the video or click the play button down below to watch the video, see exactly how it's done in the video, something along the lines of that. Or you can add even a nice little benefit. For example, and you can even do it by getting a lifetime license or something like that. Whatever an extra hook or benefit is or just a simple call to action, that's gonna be up to you. All right, so we did click play below to see how it is done. And once again, I'm just gonna align this so that it's centered and I'm gonna move it up a little bit more so it's a little bit closer. Perfect. So that's gonna be our headline and a little bit extra. Now we have our elements, which I'm gonna go in here. And given the fact I specifically love video, most of my landing pages are gonna have video on them because they're gonna do the selling themselves. If you like videos, I recommend doing this as well. But if you don't have videos, you can always replace, say, a video with text. That is something you can do, okay? But I am going to go here. And I'm going to add this specifically. We can center it. So you'll notice how when we have it in the middle, it's going to have that purple vertical line. That means it's going to be centered, and that's a good thing. So I already have my YouTube video link, which you can always get, obviously, if you have your own. What you want to do is click on this. 
click on change video. I'm gonna paste it in right here. And as you notice, there I am. So we do have some video settings. This is obviously gonna be from YouTube, but if you have other uh, social media platforms or maybe you wanna upload it, you can do that. There are some playback options. I don't want autoplay. I don't want it to play in a loop, but I do wanna make it a little bit bigger. So what I also wanna do is just drag this section down so it's a little bit bigger to give it more room to breathe, so to speak. So I'm gonna drag it like this, and I think that's a good size. Now what I can do is center it, make it right about there. Perfect, so we have like two more things that we need on this specific landing page that are gonna be important. So just a button and or a call to action. Because ideally, they're getting sent here maybe from a social media post, it could be an advertisement, it could be an email. They probably understand that they're gonna be landing on this page and you're gonna be talking about how to create pro Pixar videos, at least in my example, right? So the other step after that is if they watch this, what you wanna do is have a button that they can click. So we can go to elements right here, and what you can do is look on the left side, it's gonna be right here, we have buttons, and simply pick from any of these. I think the blue one looks fine. I'm gonna drag and drop it right here. And what we can do is also make it probably a little bigger. I'm gonna extend it that way and just make it a little bit taller. Perfect, and I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna to go to settings, and this is gonna be the text right here. So click here to buy Create Studio, something like that. We also have a link. Obviously, this is gonna be very important. What I wanna do, this is going to a web address, and we wanna make sure we do it in a new window, especially if there's a video there. If you keep it on current window and someone is watching the video and then they click the link, the video is just gonna stop. Rather, instead, opening it in a new window will have this still be here, so that's gonna be my recommendation. So I don't know the link off the top of my head. I'm just gonna do .cs.com and go with that. Let's just pretend that is going to be your affiliate link. That's all you need to know, right? That's the important part there. So let's click on done. And you can add a little bit extra of a call to action if needed. So for example, I'm gonna scroll down here. And once again, we're gonna go back to text here. So we have text. And I'm gonna drag and drop this in right here. So we can just say something like, click the button below to get lifetime access to create studio. Once again, you'll notice how I said like click below and then click here. Not only are these both call to actions, but this adds a little bit more of a benefit. Not only did they realize that they can buy it here, but now they realize that it's also gonna be a lifetime deal and lifetime deals are very attractive, especially when the software is very good like the one I am talking about here. So if we wanna make this a little bit smaller, we can do that just by dragging here. I think 20 is gonna be fine. We can move this right about here. And just like that, a very simple landing page. We're almost done. I do wanna show you how you can add some aspects to the bottom here. So if we wanna to add to the footer, we can click on add elements here. And for example, say if we just want text, right? We can do some text. I'm gonna drag and drop this one. And let's just say we wanna do contact. Now, if you're on a landing page, someone might have questions about a specific affiliate product. And this happens sometimes when you do, like I say, a landing page or just review whatever it is, there might be something that you didn't answer. And this is gonna be a good way to have that in there. So what you can do is just highlight this, click on the link, and say it's gonna go straight to email. So for this, it could be just like james at marketingisle.com. And for the email subject line, we can do like, howdy do. This is Peter McAllister, the father, okay? Home Alone 2 reference in case you haven't seen it. But that's what that's gonna look like. Just a little extra link in case it's needed. Probably can make it a little bit smaller, right? It's not a huge emphasis, but if someone needs to reach out, that's where that's gonna be. And let's just click on save. All right, what I also did is publish and I just opened it up in a new window so you can see exactly what this landing page is going to look like. All right, so here we are with this Wix affiliate landing page, how to create pro Pixar videos. Click play below to see how it's done. Obviously, this is where they can watch it with the review. And we have two calls to action here. We have this one, and then it says actually clicking here. Uh, I don't know where this goes. Okay, at least it's not something YouTube isn't going to like. So that was just a random site. That's where your affiliate link is going to go, obviously. And at the bottom, we have contact. This is gonna be perfect for if someone has any questions. Maybe you're offering bonuses and they can reach out to you, but pretty straightforward. This is how I like doing my affiliate marketing landing pages. This is how I like doing a lot of my landing pages. Plain, simple, clean, not a whole lot going on. And like I said, if you're not doing videos, you can also just replace this with text and go on from doing it that way. For example, if you had created a video, you can get the transcript, put it in there, make sure it's a little bit better, or even use ChatGPT to kind of clean it up and wordsmith it and so on and so forth. But I hope you got some value out of this video when it comes to creating an affiliate marketing page using Wix. If you have any questions, feel 
free to leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me a lot as well. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in my next video.